Insulin doses may need to be adjusted over time to achieve target glucose levels. I'm here with Brad Heise, an endocrinology nurse practitioner living with type 1 diabetes. He'll help us understand the best ways to start and titrate basal insulin. The American Diabetes Association recommends starting basal insulin at 10 units per day or 0.1 to 0.2 units per kilogram per day. This can be initiated at whatever time is best for the patient to remember to take their insulin. If a patient's average fasting blood glucose is greater than 200 milligrams per deciliter, I'll start them at 0.2 units per kilogram rather than 0.1 unit per kilogram. Keep in mind, it's not a good idea to start basal insulin if a patient's fasting glucose is less than 130, as this could lead to hypoglycemia. If a patient's fasting glucose is in range and their A1C is still above goal, a medication that targets high postprandial blood sugars would be a better option. Let's discuss the scenario starting a patient on basal insulin. A patient is 220 pounds and their average fasting glucose is in the 250s. I would start them on 20 units given the formula discussed based on their weight and fasting glucose being well above goal range. We'll select under 130 as our fasting glucose target and encourage that patient to increase their basal insulin by two units every three days or morning glucose is higher than 130. Now many patients don't like checking their glucose because they're above goal and they can't do anything to change that. But when patients can change their dosing to improve their blood sugars, they become more engaged and more likely to check their glucose. I also like to give them an option to reduce their dose to help prevent hypoglycemia in case they become more active or lose weight. Let's say this patient is in their 80s and I don't want to risk a fall due to hypoglycemia. I'll raise their fasting target goal to 100 to 140 and ask them to reduce their dose by two units every two days if their fasting glucose is under 100. If I made it into a smart phrase to save time, it would look like this. I customize the dose or targets based on my patient's age and goals. These recommendations we discussed help to empower patients, give them responsibility and accountability, prevent hypo and hyperglycemia, and help them manage their diabetes year-round as their activity levels change.